What's going on, Pokemon Wi-Fi TV? This is Tails here, and I have an OU battle against a guy named Biohazard from Pokemon Wi-Fi. This was a very fun match, and I was glad to have it. So here's how it starts out. He's going to lead out with his Ferrothorn, and I'm going to lead out with my Jirachi. I'm going to go for the Stealth Rocks right now, and he's going to Thunder Wave my Jirachi in order, so I, in order so I can't really have it you know, para flinching everything and whatnot when it's paralyzed itself, so yeah. Now I'm going to switch on to my own Ferrothorn as he goes for his own Stealth Rocks. He's going to use Thunder Wave on my Ferrothorn right now, and right now I'm just going to go for the Spikes. So now I have one Stealth Rocks and Spikes on the field, so whatever switches out is not going to really enjoy it. So yeah, um, he switches out into his Haxorus, I'm predicting him to switch out into something, into what, I'm not really sure. So I'm going to go for the Leech Seed to pretty much leech anything that comes out in the field. I should have gone for the Thunder Wave, but I wasn't really thinking too hard. So yeah, he's going to go for the Dragon Dance, which I'm kind of fearing. I was going to go for the Thunder Wave right now, but I get paralyzed, which <laughs> really sucks, to be honest. But what happens, happens, you know. He's going to go for the Earthquake, and at plus one Life Orb, that does quite a bit. Like, nearly, like, 60%, I guess. And I get paralyzed again, which really sucks, because I really want to, like, you know... Thunder Wave is Haxorus, I can switch out to something and not really fear it outspeeding me or sweeping my entire team, you know? So yeah, he's gonna go for a quake again. I don't even know why I don't go for the power whip. Maybe fearing a miss, like with the 50% accuracy and whatnot, or chance of it actually not hitting, so yeah. Um, now I've Thunder Wave it, and now I'm pretty much just gonna leave my Hax- my Feral Thorn out to die, because now his Haxorus is gonna kill itself as well, because of the life orb damage and whatnot. So now he's going to switch out into his Ferrothorn, and I'm going to switch out into my Jirachi yet again to um, paralyze whatever comes out in the field. That's what I was hoping for, but since he goes out into his Ferrothorn, I really don't care if I get this thing paralyzed or not. I'd rather have it burned, but I highly doubt I'm going to be able to burn it in this battle. So yeah, he's going to go for the Iron Head, which I kind of thought was weird. I thought it was going to be like at least Gyro Balls to have Thunder Wave and whatnot. Um, I'm going to go for the Taunt Scouting if it has Leech Seed and whatnot. I guess he doesn't have it. He goes for the Power Whip right now. I not sure why. I'd personally go for the Iron Head since it pretty much has a 0% chance of missing, but whatever. Um, I'm going to go for Earthquake being safe and whatnot. He's going to go out to his Tom Wash. I'm going to go for the Protect, I guess, to like, um, make sure that he loses all of his PP for Hydro Pump since there's only like 8 PP in Hydro Pump and whatnot. So yeah, I'm going to switch out right now. I'm going to go out into my Latias because this thing can pretty much wall for Tom Wash for days. Even if it does have Hidden Power Ice because my Latias does have um, the Calm Mind and whatnot. So yeah, speaking of Calm Mind, I'm going to go for that right now. And he's going to go for the Thunder. He's going to be able to hit the Thunder first of all. The Rain is not active yet. And the best part is he's going to be able to paralyze me as well. So, oh, and this part, I'm going to speed up really fast, like at least seven times fast, because it is really haxy, it was really stally, and it ends up turning really haxy as well. Basically, what's going on is I'm trying to get greedy, seeing how most of his Pokemon on the field right now are especially offensive. So what I'm trying to do is get up at least like plus five, plus six Calm Minds, which I end up doing in the end, but in the end, he kind of hacks me, gets like uh, an Iron Head crit, and... The next two Iron Heads flinch me, so I can't really do that. So, look what Greed gets you. It makes you end up getting fucked in the ass and whatnot. So, yeah, I'm going to go out into my Gliscor to get some Earthquake damage. At least that's what I think I do. No, he switches out, and he goes out into his Tom Wash. I'm going to go for the Ice Fang, actually, not for the Earthquake. And my Hex gets activated as well. I get to freeze on the Tom Wash which makes it so I can easily switch into my Tarachi. Now here's where I'm going to speed up the battle like yet again because this is also pretty... it's not really haxy. I mean so some thunders are missed and whatnot but it's really slow because we actually start doing this for a while. I try making it so he loses all the PPs of, of his Hydro Pumps and because basically as you can see my Tarachi is taking these hits pretty well so it can just pretty much um, just go for a wish and just kind of just wall up this for Tom Wash. Um, this actually goes on for quite a bit, so I'm sorry. I, I'm really not sure why I don't just stay in this use of Thunder to KO the for Tom Wash. I actually switch out later on in the battle, and you'll see that right about now. So yeah, I'm going to... Okay, here we go. So now I'm going to switch out into my Gliscor, thinking that he's out of Hydro Pumps. 
and so from what it seems, it seems like he is out of his hydro pump. So yeah, um, I'm gonna get the wish, which it doesn't really matter. I don't really care about the wish. Seeing how he's switching out, I'm pretty sure that um, he's out of hydro pumps, which is pretty good for me. I'm gonna go for protect just in case he's like bluffing it or some shit like that. So yeah, I'm gonna go for the earthquake. That's gonna be able to take out the ferrothorn, which is good for me, bad for him. He's gonna go out into his polytoad, and right now he's gonna think I'm gonna switch or something. I don't really know why, but. I don't really need to glide score because most of his Pokemon, like I said, are especially offensive. So yeah, he's going to go for the Scald, and um, funnily enough, it's not going to be able to KO, so yeah. Um, now he's going to go for the Leftovers, I'm pr pretty sure that I'm going to be able to kill with Earthquake. So yeah, he goes for Protect, I'm going to go for the Earthquake because I want to kill this Polytoad because it seems annoying. So yeah, um... Right now he's going to switch out into his Latias, thinking I'm going to go for the Earthquake, and since he has Levitate, it would be good for him. But he is wrong, because for some reason I go for the Ice Fang. I'm not really sure why, I was just bored, I guess. Um, I'm going to get some Poison here. I'm not going to protect or kind of do whatever. I'm just going to let my Gliscor die, because I really don't need it anymore. And um, seeing how he doesn't have um, Life Orb damage or, reco or um, Life Orb leftovers, why not? I'm thinking he's um, a choice scarf or choice spec set so seeing how he has ice beam I just pretty much went out in my starmie um, turns out he was expert belted or something like that so yeah I'm gonna go for the hydro pump and it being rain boosted it having life orb and all that fun stuff is gonna be able to KO the Rotom wash so yeah um, now he's gonna go into his own polytoad and he's gonna use the protect just to be a dick I don't know why um, See, so yeah, I go for the Hydro Pump, it hits, but he protects himself, so that kind of sucks. So, um, now I'm going to go for Hydro Pump again, but I missed this time, which was really annoying, because I would have been able to take down that annoying Politoes. So now it's going to protect and Scald, protect, Scald, and whatnot. Um, <coughs> right now I'm going to switch out, predicting to protect, which he does right now, and since I have Natural Cure, I won't have to worry about the Toxic later on in the battle. So, yeah, um, now we're basically going to, no, he's only going to get his leftover recovery and whatnot. Because my Politoed isn't leftover set, it's actually Chester Resto. So yeah, we both use our Toxics, trying to stall out the other. Um, this kind of lasts out for a while as well. I'm not sure why I didn't speed it up in hindsight of narrating this battle, but whatever. He's going to use the Protect right now, and I think I used the Oh, I know, I used the Scald right now. And now me thinking that he's going to go for the Scald, I'm going to go for the Protect. I'm, no, I'm not going to go for the Protect. I'm going to go for the... Um, no, I, oh, I go for the Scald again, silly me. See, I go for the Scald, he's going to go for the Scald as well. Um, right now, yeah, um, poison damage is going to rack up and whatnot. It's nearly... No, wait, no, does he win the speed time right now? Is this even a speed time? I'm not even sure. No, he goes for the Protect, and I'm going to go for the Rest, because at this HP area, his Toxic is going to be able to pretty much knock his own Politoed out of the game. And my Politoed is going to be alive and not poisoned, which is good for me because now all he has left is a Gengar and a Latios. So, yeah, this from here is pretty much a good game. He's going to go for the Destiny, uh, Destiny Bond, and I'm going to go for the Scald. I get a critical hit, but I guess that's good for him if it wasn't going to KO without the critical hit. Because now my Polystone's gonna die with the Destiny Bond. Here I also speed up as well because it's basically Latios versus Jirachi. I don't know what his fourth move is, but I know for sure he has Draco Meteor, Dragon Pulse, and um, oh yeah, his fourth move is Ice Beam. So yeah, he has Dragon Pulse, Draco Meteor, um, Psychic, and Ice Beam. So it's not gonna be able to do much in my Jirachi, but I get hexed out quite a bit. So yeah, I sped that part up for that reason. He's gonna go for the Psychic, and I'm gonna go for the Iron Head, and that is going to be the end of the battle. Me winning 2-0. That was a 67 turn battle in nine minutes. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay classy, Pokemon Wi-Fi. Peace.